Jim Parsons played a comic book nerd, but did you know he also played a comic book villain? Let's take a look at the actor's surprising supervillain voice role. Of all the absurd, utterly hilarious characters to come out of the critically acclaimed CBS sitcom The Big Bang Theory, arguably none were as iconic or as beloved as Jim Parsons' Sheldon Cooper. Sheldon is a hyper-intelligent physicist working at Caltech alongside his roommate Leonard Hofstadter. And despite his incredibly high IQ, he is constantly unable to grasp the most basic of social cues. You're in my spot. While Sheldon's lack of social grace and his neurotic habits constantly test the patience of those closest to him, audiences and critics around the world fell in love with him, eventually leading to the spin-off series Young Sheldon. Sheldon was a breakthrough role for Parsons, who received four Primetime Emmy Awards for his performance in the series and was launched into superstardom almost overnight. The character is so iconic that it's hard to see Parsons without immediately thinking of The Big Bang Theory. Though that doesn't mean he hasn't had his fair share of parts outside of the hit series. His other work includes roles in the likes of Hidden Figures, Extremely Wicked, Shockingly Evil and Vile, and The Boys in the Band, to name a few. But it's not just movies. One of Parsons' more unusual roles came in the animated TV series The Superhero Squad Show, where he played one of the more formidable members of Doctor Strange's rogues gallery. The Superhero Squad show was produced by Marvel Animation, based on the Marvel Superhero Squad line of action figures from Hasbro. The series takes many of Marvel's most iconic superheroes and villains and turns them into hyper, cartoonish, comedic parodies of themselves, presenting a much more light-hearted take on their comic source material. In the series, Jim Parsons voiced the supervillain Nightmare, one of Doctor Strange's most iconic rivals. In the comics, Nightmare is a demonic ruler of the Dream Dimension, and he spends his time tormenting sleeping individuals for fun. He has the ability to manipulate the dreams of others to the point where he can actually plant suggestions and thoughts within that person's mind in order to alter their behavior. It's oddly hilarious to see this utterly malicious villain turned into a sillier version of himself in the Superhero Squad show. And Parsons does an excellent job of emphasizing just how ridiculous Nightmare's powers truly can be. Indeed, considering the fact that the actor barely altered his voice for the role, it's almost as if Marvel got Sheldon Cooper to play the part, and the result is absolutely hysterical. Ah, uh, hello. Villain? Why would I? I mean, what's in it for moi? It appears the Big Bang Theory and superhero property connection is alive and well, because Parsons isn't the only cast member to land a comic book role. His co-star, Mayim Bialik, who played Sheldon's future wife Amy, once provided voice roles for the 2003 video game X2 Wolverine's Revenge. Over a decade later, she returned to the world of superheroes, providing the voice of Lady Lightning for the animated movie Stan Lee's Mighty Seven. However, Bialik isn't the only Big Bang Theory lady to get in on the superhero bandwagon. In fact, two of the main female stars throughout the series have gone on to voice a character from the DC Comics universe, Harley Quinn. Most notably, Kaylee Cuoco, who played Penny on The Big Bang Theory for all 12 seasons, plays the anti-heroine on the HBO Max series Harley Quinn. All she wants is to be the best bad guy around, and along the way she may just rediscover what it means to truly be in love. Meanwhile, Melissa Rauch, who played Bernadette on The Big Bang Theory starting in 2009, also voiced Harley for a short period of time. She lent her voiceover talents to the iconic character for the 2017 animated film Batman and Harley Quinn. It seems as though the Big Bang Theory cast has somewhat of a knack for playing villains. In fact, there's one more main cast member who got in on the villain fun you may not realize. Howard actor Simon Helberg plays third-rate supervillain Moist in the 2008 web series Dr. Horrible's Singalong Blog. After years of playing nerds and geeks, it should come as no surprise that this is one cast that's great at playing super-powered individuals. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite TV stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.